Welcome to Gab Talk, where we provide tools, tips, and techniques to help your life and business be easier, better, and faster. Hello, hello, how are you? I am so excited that you guys are here with us today. I'm Gabriella, and this is Gab Talk Success Tips from Experts, and I'm bringing to you a really interesting an incredible fellow who has such an interesting background, um, leadership expert and coach, Osman Ma. How are you today? Hey, Gab. I'm very excited to be here. I'm doing very well. Thank you so very much uh, for having me here. How are you? I am even better because I get to talk to you and share you with our audience. I'm super excited that you're here today, too. Oh, fantastic. I really thank you for this opportunity to expand my network and talk to you as well. Will you share with our audience about who you are and what your expertise is? Yeah. So first up, I'm joining you, all of you, all the way from down under Australia. So I wasn't born here. I'll start with that. I moved to Australia about 25 years ago in that's actually become my not only lived experience and also my passion. Uh, that is that how to grow as a leader in a new culture and country. And therefore, I identify myself as a multicultural leadership expert. And my mission is to help people learn and grow in their new culture and country. You know, we don't really think about that very often unless we are finding ourselves mm. in that exact position. And it's, I think, a very unique and interesting space that you're in that a lot of people can benefit from. Can you tap into that a little bit more? Definitely. You know, um, we now live in a very globalized um, age. Um, everyone's speaking to everyone from all corners of the world. And we are the live example of that, right? Uh, you're Absolutely. in LA and I'm in Sydney, Australia. And even if you roll back 10 or maybe 15 years ago, we wouldn't have actually imagine this even uh, to do this sort of thing. So as we do this, there's a lot of things, a lot of nuances that we need to be aware of to start with and be comfortable and able to get through those little things and have a productive relationship. And for individuals, how do you actually learn and grow and become leaders in this sort of space? And that's what I actually am very passionate about. Absolutely. And you said something really important is the nuances, because as a multicultural mm -hmm. leadership expert, understanding nuances, not only from your own culture or the culture where you now live, all the other cultures that are the melting pot of, of Australia and the melting pot of the U.S. And as you mentioned, we are now global. I have really close friends all over the world that I would have never known had it not been for the last two and a half years. Yeah, definitely. Like nuances is the key to me because fundamentally and inherently, we all know as a human being, it is good for us to be working and talking with people from different and diverse backgrounds, right? But what gets in the way is those little nuances. And I just picked up, um, you You say multicultural, and I say multicultural. Even little things like that, these are nuances, right? Then you have things that can actually have a big impact on the way we work together. Absolutely. So I want to ask you to share with us about your background, because you told me something that I thought was incredibly interesting. Where you were only a few years ago is completely different than where you are today. Yeah. So, you know, I went through a typical journey of someone who moved to a new country, right? Like you come in, you learn what you need to learn and then head down, work your way up. And I did that, you know, I um, came here as an international student, I did my degree, I got my degree, I started working as an engineer, then climbed the corporate ladder, I became engineering manager. So that spans about 18 years. And all of a sudden, during uh, COVID, uh, because of a restructure within my organization, uh, my role was made redundant. But I took it as an opportunity. You know, I, um, well, my wife 
said uh, I was going through a midlife crisis, maybe, but I, I, I took it as a great opportunity to reflect upon my uh, long-spanning career and see where I actually wanted to go next. And that's when I decided that, um, okay, I want to explore something entirely different uh, and do something that um, allow me to follow my passion of helping other people learn and grow. And that's when I started uh, Marvelous Coaching. Uh, and I started uh, working with individual teams, organization, and community uh, and help them to navigate through those nuances that I talked about and help them to learn and grow and become leaders in a new culture and country. For sure. Well, this is a great time for me to ask you about your influence because I already know how you're going to answer this and I think it's awesome and it super fits into this conversation. So will you share that with us? Uh, but I decided to pick uh, this particular uh, leader uh, that not many people might see as leader, right? and his name is Bruce Lee. I'm pretty sure a lot of Americans will know Bruce Lee uh, because he was quite famous uh, as an actor. And as I said, not many people will see him as a leader. I see him as a leader because he is a very exemplary person who actually moved from one country to another, and become successful in that country, a new culture and country. So I study him a lot. And uh, one of the things that I also noticed is that he fit into this uh, leadership style called principal leadership, right? So he's got principles that he actually thought long and hard about and also apply and implement in his life and exemplify those principles. And I really admire the way he's done it. I really admire how he set him, himself up for success in a new culture and country. And therefore he is my uh, influential leader. The other thing that you mentioned when we were talking is a lot of people don't realize just how entrepreneurial he was as well. Yeah, that's very true, Gab, uh, because um, I realized that your audience is entrepreneurial and um, he is really entrepreneurial, right? Like he just not done his acting, but he also managed his own business and he was successful in that. So that's very true. Gab. I think that's a great choice for inspiration. And I think it is very fitting coming from your background in engineering and Bruce Lee being such a process-driven person to reach his own level of success makes a lot of sense. Hello, hello, awesome listener. Thank you so much for joining us today at Gab Talk Success Tips from Experts. We're gonna take a short break and say thank you to our sponsors. It is through the generous support of these sponsors that we are able to bring to you these amazing experts that are sharing their best tips for your success. So please listen to what our sponsors have to say and hopefully they're going to inspire you that you're going to click their links and go support them. This is Tony Stark Polici, copywriter, marketing consultant and author. And I have a question for you. If you could take $20 and turn it into a thousand or 5,000 or 10,000 or a hundred thousand, would you do it? Well, you can, and it's not through gambling. It's not investing in the stock market. It's by buying this book. That's right. My book. This was voted number nine out of the top 100 best copywriting books ever written. And I wrote it for you, for business owners, to help you write better emails, better sales copy, better advertisement, to communicate better in all of your marketing and business communications. This book will change your business and your life. Try it. You're going to love it. It's time to take a vacation from processed foods. The Ultimate Lifestyle Transformation Kit will upgrade the way you look, feel, and perform, or will give you your money back, guaranteed. By taking a vacation from processed foods, you will detoxify your organs, cleanse your cells, and remove chemicals from your gut. And once you begin to nourish your cells and balance your hormones, you may notice increased energy, lower stress, deeper sleep, heightened mental clarity, improved digestion, and sexy lean muscle. Any of that sound interesting to you? You have nothing to lose and everything to gain. You already eat every day, and what you eat really matters. This is your chance to upgrade your food, upgrade your health, and upgrade your life. So listen, if you 
were able to go back and talk to yourself 25 years ago when you first emigrated to Australia and you were getting ready to go to college and learn all of the stuff that you did, is there a single piece of advice that you might give yourself that would get you closer to success or change your path or just help you along the way? I could write to my inspirational leaders quote, uh, which I actually incorporate into my leadership coaching as well, uh, particularly for people uh, from people with diverse background. That quote is be like water, my friend. And I think that is so fundamental for people who are immigrating into a new culture and country, right? Uh, because we, always have this tension of you know how much we're going to keep from our old country and culture and how much we're going to adapt to the new country and culture so being like water gives you that flexibility and adaptability to not only hold on to what you want to hold on but also be able to fit into the new culture and country so i didn't quite do that when i was um, you know, establishing myself in this new culture and country called Australia. Yes, I learned a few new things, but I was still a bit stuck in my own way. Mm. And I thought just working hard alone will actually help me get through all of this. But I realize now, and which I actually help other people to do, is that adaptability is the key. That's amazing. What other advice would you share with us today? The other advice is, again, going along with the water analogy, uh, is the connections. Uh, when you actually can connect with other water and also being able to merge with other water that you need to merge with, you become stronger. And again, uh, as entrepreneur and business people, we all know how networking is important, mm -hmm. how mm -hmm. connections are important for your business. But if you are very core technical people, like accountant or engineers, sometimes we do tend to look overlook this importance. Get in there, start talking to different people. Sometimes it's uncomfortable, but this is so important to your career and to your business. I completely agree. I happen to love interacting with people, but when I first started my previous business, that was the hardest thing to do was to show up and to somewhere where you didn't know anybody and just stick your hand out and say hi and introduce yourself. But you got to take the first step, right? You got to take the first step. Any other right. tips that you have to share with us today? Our mindset. When you actually move from one country to another, you're already taking risk. But what happened is when you get into a new culture and country, you tend to start going for stability. And along with it is you become risk averse. On each episode of Gab Talk Success Tips from Experts, we like to highlight a hero sponsor who is a business that chooses to highlight a do-good organization in their own community that is bettering the world. Today's hero sponsor is... Hi, everyone. My name is Alan Raisman, the owner of thefunofworkingout.com. I'm a Beachbody coach, and on that website, you could try Beachbody workouts out at no cost. But today, I want to highlight a wonderful nonprofit outside of Philadelphia. Keystone Opportunity Center provides food, housing, and education to over 5,000 people a year in Montgomery and Upper Bucks County. On their website, www.keystoneopportunity.org, you can learn about the mission, hear client stories, and learn how you can volunteer and support them. Again, my name is Alan Raisman, the owner of thefunofworkingout.com. I'm a Beachbody coach, and you can go to my website where you can try Beachbody out completely free. Thank you. This has been such an incredible conversation with you today. I feel like I've learned some incredible things for myself that I'm going to take away and implement as well. Uh, where can people find you so that they can have a conversation and learn how they can work with you? That's a very good question, Gab. I'll just give you one very simple uh, answer. Uh, you can find me on LinkedIn. That's where I'm most active. Uh, that's not many, uh, there aren't that many Osman Ma. So <laughs> if you just type in Osman Ma, it will pop up and you will find me. And if it doesn't, then also pair that up with keywords, 
multicultural leadership expert. So Osma Ma, multicultural leadership expert. I'm sure you will find me on LinkedIn. And did you have a website as well that they can take a look at? Yes, uh, it's called marveloucoaching.com. Marveloucoaching.com. Fantastic. Or should I say marvelous? And I know that you have a fantastic offer for our audience that they are absolutely going to love when they get their hands on. Will you share that with us? Yes. Um, so my message is that people can learn and grow in new culture and country. And that's what I help people to do so as well. So I deliver that through a multiple format, uh, including one-on-one -on -one coaching, team coaching, mentoring, workshops, and training. Uh, so you can find those information on my website, uh, as well as uh, in a better, better way of finding that out is to uh, have a initial exploratory conversation with me. Uh, so you can contact me through LinkedIn or you can contact me through my website. So thank you so very much. I would love to talk to any anyone that um, interested in learning and growing in a new culture and country as leaders. Fantastic. So we will get the link to your LinkedIn, your website, and how people can contact you in the show notes and in the description so that they can reach out to you and find out how they can work with you, find out more about your style of leading leaders. And I just have to say, again, coming from a more structured background into something that's much more dynamic and a lot more um, up and down and flexible, can be very, very challenging. And being able to bridge between the two is, an, is a space that a lot of people struggle with. So having the opportunity to speak with someone like you that understands both sides and can bridge both sides is really, really important and somewhat unique because there's only a small segment of people like you and me that are able to bridge the two sides. So I think that that's fantastic. So you guys don't forget to click the links make sure that you click subscribe and click the reminder so that you know when our next episode is airing and we will see you soon. Hey, thanks so much for watching. We hope you got value today. We want to give a huge shout out of gratitude to our contributors. Please make sure you click the subscribe button below and don't forget to click the bell up above to get reminders when we add new content.